Chi at approximately 6.45 this evening in the area of 5th and D Street. Davis police officer Natty Corona responded to a triple car accident. During the investigation of the accident, shots were fired. Officer Corona sustained a gunshot injuries and was transported immediately to the UC Davis Medical Center where she passed. Despite the, the uh, life-saving uh, efforts that were provided by firefighters who were um, immediately adjacent because the, the primary fire station is right near where this happened, um, they weren't able to save her. Officer Corona started her career with the police department in 2016 as a community service officer. She was a rising star in the department and I've known her for a couple of years and she started as a part-time employee volunteer. Um, and I can tell you that I haven't seen anybody work harder in a, in a part-time capacity and be more motivated to be a police officer than Natalie. Uh, she's just a, an absolute a star in the department and somebody that uh, pretty much every department member really looked to as um, you know a, a close friend a sister and I've heard her describe our officers tonight as our daughter and our friend and and just the sister that we all wanted uh, this is just an absolutely devastating loss to the police department she completed the academy just this past July 2018, and she uh, was promoted to police officer when she graduated. She just completed the field training program and has been out on her own for just a couple of weeks. Natalie is 22 years old and uh, was sur is survived by her parents uh, who have been notified of, about what happened. An officer died in the line of duty. Uh, we haven't had an officer die in the line of duty since I believe it's 1957, yeah. 50, 59. So 1959 was the last time we lost an officer. I've been with the police department as, as well as Sergeant Dorshoff. Uh, we started out here as police cadets back in 1983. And this is the first time that we've had to go through anything like this in, in this agency. Natalie was just full of full of life and full of energy and just an, an absolute pleasure to be around. She loved being around everybody in the department and she just worked like you can't believe. In fact, there was a, a period of time that uh, before going to the academy that we ran out of the funding for her paid position and despite that she still came in and volunteered as a, as a volunteer and put in full-time hours until she ended up going to the police academy. Is there anything you'd like to say to any of her friends or family members who might be watching now? Yeah, we're just here at the police department. We're just absolutely devastated about the loss, and, and I'm just very sorry for the, the family. Um, I, I've spoken to our parents, and I can tell you that this has just been devastating.